Madam Chair, distinguished delegates, my delegation and I are delighted to join you in this session of the Global Platform. The earthquakes in Haiti and Chile last year, the volcanic eruption in Iceland, the earthquake in New Zealand, and massive flooding in Australia early this year, and the 11th March earthquake in Japan, and subsequent tsunami and nuclear meltdown, and the earthquake in Spain yesterday are a big wake-up call. They demonstrate the urgent need to mitigate disaster risk and build resilience. All too often, when we think of disasters, our minds immediately go to those who are most immediately affected. The events in Japan and the interactions since demonstrate how the world is interconnected today. The world's manufacturing chain, which hinges on just-in-time delivery of inventory, was severely tested. Complete recovery will take time. We live on a small planet. Risks are becoming much more global. We therefore need to be prepared on a more global scale. This session of the global platform is indeed timely. Distinguished delegates, you will recall the President of Indonesia recently addressed the opening ceremony, and I quote, disaster affecting one country ultimately affects all humanity. It is incumbent upon us to give the challenge we face our utmost attention, increase cooperation, innovative thinking, sharing of experiences and lessons, capacity building and funding should be at the heart of our endeavors. Developing countries, including Kenya, are not only prone to disaster, but are highly vulnerable to the negative impacts of climate change. This was recognized at the second African Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction, held in Nairobi in April 2010. It is important that the special needs and aspirations for sustainable development are taken into account. In Kenya, government efforts are aimed at poverty reduction, facilitating the integration of disaster risk reduction in development is a key priority. Considering that we are at midpoint of the Hyogo Framework for Action, Kenya is undertaking measures to conform to the five priority areas. We are convinced the outcome of this session will strengthen further policy initiatives. Many calls for strong political commitment have been made over the last few days. The Hyogo Midterm Review highlights the thinking of a post-2015 framework. As stakeholders faced with the challenges of disaster risk reduction, we must not shy away from thinking about the future today. Kenya stresses that whatever framework we develop, we must ensure that sustainable development and climate change adaptation remain at the core of the mechanism. Madam Chair, distinguished delegates, finally, judging by recent events, disasters are becoming more frequent and unpredictable. However, my delegation is convinced that by working together, we can collectively address the challenges. Kenya believes the United Nations should continue to play its central role in providing leadership in disaster risk reduction. The valuable work of the United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Reduction uh, attests to this fact. We highly appreciate the important work of that regional office for Africa is carrying out in partnership with countries of the region and the African Union. Thank you.